So let's do another example for the solutions of a given differential equation. Um, the uh, example asks for verifying that the function y equals the c1 plus c2 e to the power x for any constant c1 and c2 is a solution for the equation, differential equation y double prime minus y prime equals to zero. It means that if you subtract the first derivative and second derivative, you will get zero. And then when you have that, use this fact and find the particular solution for this differential equation uh, with these uh, initial conditions. Here, since we have the second derivative, the initial condition not only has something in terms of y itself, it also has a condition for y prime. So value of the y and y prime at zero are given. Okay, so to verify means what? So it means that you take the function, consider c1 and c2 to be constant, and try to see if this function uh, satisfies this equation. Does this satisfy um, this equation, differential equation? That means if it satisfies that, that means that's a solution for that differential equation. Satisfies means what? Means that we have to find y prime here. C1 is a constant, so this will be 0 plus C2 is constant, so constant multiple um, rule C2 comes up. The derivative e to the power x is just e to the power x. In other words, y prime is C2 e to the power x. And we find y double prime. Why I'm finding y prime and y double prime? Because I want to use this equation as a, as a relation between y prime and y double prime and i want to show that this function its first and second derivatives satisfy this relation it means that if you subtract the second derivative uh, subtract first derivative from the second derivative you get zero so that's why I need to find the second derivative also. Second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. Here I have C2 is constant. So constant multiple rule comes out. Derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. Now, subtract y prime from y double prime. So it will be C2 e to the power x minus C2 e to the power x. No matter what is C2, these two cancel each other and you get zero. In other words, y double prime minus y prime is equal to zero, which is what we have. Since, since y equals to c1 plus c2 e to the power x satisfy the relation or the equation this, then it is a solution of the differential equation that's the meaning for the solution okay how about the uh, particular solution so here we not only want our function have this relation satisfy this relation also we want to impose this initial condition y at zero we want we like to be one and y prime at zero we like to be two okay we know that if y double prime minus y prime is zero this family is a family for that so y equals to c1 plus c2 e to the power x now apply this condition on this means that y at zero which is c1 plus c2 e to the power zero needs to be equal to one as a result of that we know that this is c1 plus e to the power zero is one so we have c1 plus c2 is equal to one 
How about the second condition? The second condition is not for y itself. It's for y prime. We know that y prime of this guy is c2 e to the power x. And what this condition says is that y prime at 0, which is c2 e to the power 0, needs to be equal to 2. We know that e to the power 0 is 1, so this means that c2 is equal to 2. That gives us, that fixes one of the constant. So if c2 is equal to 2, I know that c1 plus c2, whatever c2 is, in this case it's 2, they will add up to 1, and that gives me the condition that c1 is 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So based on the from the initial conditions, we show that C1 needs to be negative 1 and C2 is equal to 2. Well, that means that the particular solution that we were looking for is y equal c1 is negative 1 plus c2 is 2 e to the power x that's the particular solution for the uh, differential equation with those initial uh, conditions